Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements gradient text video, we've been doing some gradients in here and some outlines as well, and we'll be putting some images inside of text, a few things like that. If you enjoy this video, make sure that you click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training, and the links for that are in the description. Okay, let's get to it. Taking a look at this gradient text, this Photoshop gradient text, we can see that there are quite a few different things happening. First off, we have our letters in here, then there's a little thin outline around the letter, then a larger outline outside of that. That outline has a gradient in it. The inner outline has a gradient as well. Then there's another outline outside here, also has a gradient in there. So a lot of gradients happening here. Of course, there is a background picture as well, and a picture that's been clipped inside of the letters and then blurred out. Now it's really not that difficult to do this, just several steps, and if you do them in the right sequence or right order, that's really pretty straightforward to do. Look okay, us see how this is done. I'll close this down, and we'll start off with a brand new file. File new, blank file. I have my set for the default Photoshop Elements size, which is a width of six, height of four, and I have my set at a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Choose OK, I'll just Lock that in place, there we go. Now let's put our text on first. So I'll grab my type tool down here. Now I'm using Arial Black, which is just a real fat typeface. There's no serifs on, it's just a real basic typeface. I'm beginning with 74 point, but we're gonna be changing that manually. I'll just click in the middle someplace. Now I have mine set for middle justification. That just allows me to click in the middle to start typing. And I know it's gonna fit inside. So I'll first type in summer all caps of course, and choose OK. So there's my first bit of text. Let's go back to the text tool, come down here, and type in heat, choose OK. All right, so we have our two layers of text. Now we're gonna be distorting these. I want the summer to be taller. So let's just get that little top button right there, kind of missed it, right there. Grab that, pull that up, just make it taller than heat about one and a half times the height. Let's now bring heat up and stretch this out to the sides. You don't need to be exact on this. We're just kind of getting things basically in place. And so I'll just really have a visual adjustment here. Now I'm going to bring heat out a little bit further. I want it, the edges of the T to match that and the S out here. Now if it's kind of clicking to that point, if it's not really going smoothly, Make sure that we have snap to layers unselected. Now that is snapping to objects on the layer. We can now come in and just really get this exactly where we want. I want that end of the T there right against the end of the R. And I want the H right against the end of the S up here. Again, doesn't have to be exact. I'm just eyeballing this. There we go, just a little bit of space between those, like that. If you want to, you can use your cursor keys, the arrow keys to move it up and down a little bit. Let's now make sure that summer is a bit taller than heat, so come right down here. And notice as I move this around, I get these different kind of strange cursors in here. The one you want is the up and down cursor. You can see it right there, there it is, up and down cursor. But if you notice as you click, all of a sudden this thing changes. So, to use this, click on your type and try to get right on that dot right there. Click it once, let it go ahead and make that switch. Don't do anything yet. Then come back and grab it again and adjust the size of your letter right there. And we're gonna just pull that down just a touch. Choose OK, and again, I'll use my cursor keys just to kind of knock that in place. So there's the basic type. Let's now pull a selection marquee around both of these. Just click outside and then just drag a marquee around them like that. They're now both selected and now we can grab the corner and actually resize both together here. I'll make it a bit taller and let's pull the bottom down a bit. So it really fills up the whole space. And choose OK. So there's our basic text. I'm leaving, as you can see here, a gap around the outside. 
it's about the same thickness as what we have here inside of the H. There we go. Now, both of your layers should still be selected. If they aren't, just click on one, hold the shift key down, click on the second, drag them up to the new layer button. So you have copies of both of those. Now come down and hide your originals. So we have our original in text. Let's now go up here and select both of our copies, right click and simplify. So I've now converted them just over to graphics instead of text. That's why I saved those two, just in case I want to go back and change things. We now can right click on these and merge layers together. So we have one layer now, which is just that graphic. So there it is without, and there it is. Okay, there's the basic text. Everything is now built across or from that. Let's click down just one level or down here right above the background. You know, anywhere down here, as long as you're underneath the heat copy up here. This is our text layer. Let's go up and we're going to be placing in our background. So file, place, there we go. And I have my background picture right here. Just choose place on that. It just sticks it in the background. Click a little green check mark. That's all we're doing with that. That's just going to sit in the background and that's done. Okay, let's now go up here to the summary heat and I need to make a couple of copies of this. We make one copy first, just like that. Just drag it up to the new cop new button right here, new layer button. It makes a copy of this. And let's rename this. I'm going to rename this outline one. There we go. We can rename this one. This is just going to be our text layers. So have text and outline one. Okay, on outline one, let's put our outline on this. Go up here to the layer menu, come down to layer style, style settings, and click on stroke. Now on this one I want this to be a white outline. So click on the black square here and it's dragged into the upper left hand corner, which is white and choose OK. Now it says outline, this isn't necessarily outside if you're working with Photoshop Elements 15 like I am here. So click to inside then back to outside again and that'll get it set up properly. Now you pull the size up you can see here it kind of grows like that. Set the opacity at 100 and I want to pull this up until just the A just gets filled in right there. So just watch that A and as soon as that A gets filled in, there you go. That's where you want to go to. So that's at 32 point. Now you could go a little further if you want to. If you want to fill in this section here between the H and the E, you can do that as well. But we're actually going to be coming back and filling that in later with something else. So just until that fills in, and again, for me that's 32 points. It'll be close for you, it'll be 31, 32, or 33, it'll be right in there somewhere. Choose OK. Alright, so I have this layer now has the black type and the outline. I'm going to hide our text layer, and then go up here, right click where it says Outline 1, and Simplify Layer. That converts the effect down into just a graphic. So it's a graphic that has black letter with a white outline. Now grab the magic wand tool. I have contiguous unchecked. I have tolerance at zero down here and it's set for a new selection right there and click into the black someplace. That will select all of the black on that layer which is obviously all of your text. Now just hit the delete key and that cuts that out and then select deselect. So that is our first outline sitting in there. And the reason why we did it this way is that I can put a gradient into just that text. But we're not done yet. There's our secondary outline on this. So take this outline layer, drag this up to the new layer button. There we go. Let's rename this one outline 2. Just back up, outline 2. We'll be doing the same thing we did below here. Same basic concept. Go up to layer, come down to layer style, style settings, stroke. Make sure that this is set to outside. Go over here to the color. This time drag upper right hand corner so that that's red so we can see it. And then we're going to increase the size of this. Let's go ahead and pull this up a bit. And this is be too much. We want enough of a thickness so we can actually see that outline. But no more than that. So right there, that's pretty good. I have mine set at 10. You might want to go up to maybe 12 or something. If you're up past about 14, it's getting too thick and it becomes its own graphic thing. So 
You know, six is a little bit too thin. You can't really see it in on these letters here. So you need it bigger than six. I'll bring it up. Ten's pretty good. I can actually see the outline around my letters. It's still fairly thin, but I can see that outline, and that's what I want right in there. So we'll say ten on this one, and red. Also, that fills in that spot between the H and the E, as I mentioned just a moment ago. When you're all set, click on OK. We'll now do the exact same thing as before. Right-click where it says Outline 2, Simplify Layer. Go back to the magic wand, and this time we're deleting the white part. I'm going to just hide Outline 1. That's our white outline. So we're on our red outline up here. Click on the white, hit the Delete key, that deletes the white, deselect, so there's that red outline. So we now have two layers of our outline. Here's our red outline, there's our white outline, and there's the text sitting right down below all this stuff. Now it's time to put our graphics into our lettering. Let's come down here to Summer Heat, and we'll place an image inside of the lettering. So I'll go up here to File, come down to place and grab my second picture which is right there. It's called Fireball. and I have links for these of course in the description so go ahead and find these. Choose place. It just sticks it right on top like that. Make sure that the picture is outside of all of your letters. If it's not just drag it so it's larger than your letters. In this case we're fine. Click on our green check mark. Okay there's our fancy flame kind of stuff but I want this inside of my letters not just behind them. So right click on the name and choose Create Clipping Mask. And that puts it inside of the letters. Now I want to have this softer than this. I don't want to have it this hard, this crisp. So let's make this softer. Go up to the Filter menu, come down to Blur and Gaussian Blur. Now if you see this, it, not directly editable, that's because we place this and it came in as a smart object right there, a little icon right there. So if you see that, it's easy to do. Just right click on the name and simplify the layer. It's now just a picture and no longer a smart object. Let's go ahead and do our Gaussian Blur. Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. This time it works. I have mine set at 15 pixels right down here. That works out well for me. You can change if you want to. A lower number gives you more detail. A higher number gives you less detail. Just choose whatever level you want. I kind of personally like 15. That's a personal preference on this one. Choose OK. There we are. That takes care of our lettering. Let's now work on our first outline. On this one we want to have our gradient in this kind of an orange yellow gradient. And that's up here. Outline 1. That's our white outline. So go up here to Layer come down to New Fill Layer and choose Gradient. And where it says Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask, check that and choose OK. There's our gradient. It's going to be the default gradient which will probably be black to white down there or black to clear. That's fine. Leave it at that. Where it says Linear, that's correct. Let's, we'll fix all this stuff in just a minute. Right where you see the representation here, the thumbnail for the gradient, click on that thumbnail and that will bring up the gradient editor. Now the one you want is right here. It's one of the default gradients, so you should see that right away. And it's an orange to yellow to orange. Choose OK. There's our orange, yellow, orange. Now notice that it's orange at the top, yellow and orange at the bottom. I want it sideways instead of up to down. So let's change the angle here to 180. Just like that. See how it just kind of moves it around so it's now orange yellow, orange, left to right. Choose OK. And that takes care of that gradient. So far so good. All we have left to do is the gradient for inside of our red outline. And that's our outline 2 up here. Same basic concept. Go up to Layer, come down to New Fill Layer, Gradient. Again, use Previous Layer to create Clipping Mask right there. Choose OK. Comes in at the default gradient. That's fine. Linear, that's fine. Click on the gradient again. This time let's just leave this here and we're going to change a couple of things. This is the actual editor right down below here. The bottom two stops are your color stops. The top two stops are your transparency stops. Right now it's black to black and it's 100% transparency to 0% transparency. So let's do our colors first. 
click on the bottom left, click on the color icon right there, and then pull it into the upper right hand corner, which is your bright red, choose OK. Go over here to the right hand side, click on the right hand bottom one, same thing, click on the color, and this time come down into the yellow over here, and pull into the upper right hand corner. I'm going to move this just a little bit higher, a little brighter yellow. That's pretty good. Choose OK. So it's now red to yellow, but it's red 100% to 0% over here. So click on the opacity stop right here and down here, drop down, pull it clear to the right that gives you 100% opacity. Oh, didn't want to do that. There we are. So red to yellow, 100% opacity, which are our top stops. Choose OK. And there we go. We have yellow at the top down to red at the bottom on that thinner outline. And there it is. That's actually all there is to it. Let's now see how we've done. I'll pull this out here and let's just stretch this out a little bit and zoom in a touch so you can really see this. There we go. There's our gradient text. As you can see, kind of fun gradients, picture inside text, a lot of fun little stuff happening on this one and pretty straightforward. Okay, there you go. That's how to do the Photoshop Elements gradient text. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.